UFC Fight Night, Lewis vs. Nascimento, also billed as UFC St. Louis, took place on May 11th in front of a sold-out Enterprise Arena in St. Louis, Missouri. The event earned $2.47 million at the gate and at least $7 million more from ESPN's exclusive broadcasting contract, not to mention sponsorships and merchandise. But how much of the pie did the fighters take home? The Missouri Office of Athletics does not disclose fighter pay information, so the purses I'll be showing in this video are just estimates based on previously disclosed earnings. With that said, let's jump into the first fight. Every fighter that's under contract, if you want to tell the media what you're paid, that's up to you. Heavyweights Waldo Cortez Acosta and Robelis de Spain kicked off the main card with what Dana White criticized by calling the shittiest fight of the night. De Spain was able to land some big shots throughout the fight, but Cortez Acosta's wrestling neutralized much of the threat over three rounds, racking up nearly 10 minutes of ground control time on his way to the unanimous decision win. De Spain earned $12,000 to show and $4,000 in Venom sponsorship, also known as Fight Week Incentive, and took home $16,000 and Cortez Acosta made $34,000 to show and $34,000 for the win, $6,000 in sponsorship pay, and a total of $74,000. The second fight saw featherweight Alex Caceres and Sean Woodson keep it on the feet in what was essentially a kickboxing bout. Woodson used his length to land accurate shots, while staying out of reach of Caceres' most damaging blows. It was a competitive fight that went the distance, but the judges scored a unanimous decision victory for Woodson. Caceres made $93,000 to show, along with the maximum non-championship $21,000 in sponsorship pay for $114,000 on the night. And the winner, Sean Woodson, took in $36,000 to show and another $36,000 for the win, $6,000 in sponsorship, and a total of $78,000. The third fight saw Mateusz Rombetsky put veteran lightweight Diego Fajeda on the back foot early. Diego endured several blows in the first round, including a left hand that sat him down on the canvas. The momentum shifted in the second round as damage accumulated on Rombetsky's face. It reached a breaking point in the final round when Fajeda took Rombetsky down and rained down punches until the fight was called, earning him the TKO win. Rombetsky brought in $24,000 to show and $4,500 in sponsorship for $28,500 on the night. While Fajeda earned $78,000 to show and another $78 for the win, $11,000 in Venom sponsorship, and a $50,000 performance of the night bonus for a total of $217,000. In the fourth fight, Alonzo Minifield rushed in on fellow light heavyweight Carlos Olberg, and while he connected with a punch or two, was met with a massive left hook that dropped him to the canvas, resulting in a TKO win for Olberg just 12 seconds into the fight. Minifield earned $70,000 to show and $11,000 in sponsorship for a total of $81,000. And the winner, Carlos Olberg, brought home $39,000 to show and $39 for the win, $6,000 in sponsorship pay, and a well-deserved $50,000 performance of the night bonus for $134,000. In the co-main event, the hometown hero, welterweight Joaquin Buckley, controlled the fight against his opponent, Nursultan Ruzaboyev. His wrestling was dominant and his striking was sharper, scoring a knockdown in the third. The fight was almost stopped due to ground strikes after Buckley gained mount position, but Ruzaboyev survived until the end of the round. The scorecards came down as a unanimous decision victory for Joaquin Buckley. Ruzaboyev took home $14,000 to show and $4,000 in sponsorship for $18,000 on the night. While Buckley made $84,000 to show at $84,000 for the win, along with $11,000 in sponsorship, and a total of $179,000. And finally, the main event of the evening, Derek Lewis took the TKO victory against Rodrigo Nascimento to extend his UFC record 15 knockouts. Lewis uncharacteristically came out of the gate with multiple takedown attempts, completing one of them, but it was Nascimento that notched the more meaningful one, and held a dominant position for nearly half the round. The second and third took place primarily on the feet, with Lewis landing big shot after big shot, culminating in an overhand right that dropped Nascimento, resulting in the TKO win. Nascimento received $38,000 to show and $6,000 in sponsorship for a total of $44,000. And the winner, Derek Lewis, took home a whopping $235,000 to show and another $235 for the win, along with $21,000 in sponsorship, giving the Black Beast the biggest paycheck of the night at $491,000. That's all for this episode. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next week for UFC Fight Night Barbosa vs. Murphy.